when is the first? Oh, I gotta start the draft. I was like, why didn't it go so fast? All right, so I was gonna take Chandler Carter there because, uh, you know, I took him in the Bears draft. I took Will Anderson, but whichever one the Bears don't take there, uh, they're definitely going Will Anderson here, no matter what. Now I do know that I've done these draft classes, and I'll probably end up taking the same players a couple times. But it really just kind of comes down, in my personal opinion, what is best available at that time. Best fit for the player. I'm not controlling these teams, so they could draft whoever they want to draft. So wide receiver could be nice if, you know, I mean, looking at Down's stats here, these are really fantastic stats. He had a great grade. Uh, That game scares me a bit, but Clemson is a solid team. He had a great game against Virginia. Um, but I just personally think that they need to build up a bit of an O-line. has a ton of issues here. So Dalton Jones might be just the better player. Didn't give up any sacks, no hits, barely any hurries. He had an off year in 2021. But I just think, honestly, I think they need offensive line help and defensive players. So I think that's what I'm going to focus for with this Cardinal draft class. I don't know how many picks, actually. They have quite a few picks. So they can definitely build up a solid defense if they draft them properly so like i'm not taking uh nathaniel dells here but they do need a center pretty desperately and again one sack i don't love that i don't love you giving up sacks in college but we're talking about a third round guy at this point one sack isn't too bad he played at ohio state his best game was against northwestern he struggled against michigan which scares me but his worst game wasn't against georgia so that's always a huge perk he took all of his snaps at center so he is a true blood center he's I, I like this pick here. Um, building up their offensive line is a big thing that the Cardinals honestly need to do. It's also a big thing to continue to build up defense. I think either drafting Tomlinson here as a cornerback, he had three interceptions, two touchdowns. This dude had a fantastic season playing here. He played a ton of snaps. He'll be out there all the time. The yardage, I mean, I would like it to be a little bit lower in college. And he did struggle against Georgia. But we're talking about a fourth-round guy at this point. I like this pick here. I think this is a solid pick for the Cardinals. Like I said, they just got to continue to build up that defense. Linebacking help could be good. But honestly, K.J. Henry might be just a better pick here. The dude had five sacks last two seasons. He played for Clemson. His best game was against Syracuse. He had 34 hurries, which is great. 14 hits. He's played tons of snaps. Most games, actually, I think college only plays 14 games. So he's played every game, played all over the place, mostly on outside tackle. But this dude would be a fantastic fit, especially when you're talking about getting him in the fourth round. I I love that pick for the Cardinals there. Honestly, like I said, they just got to build up O-line and defense. We got a center. Maybe look to see about getting a guard later on because we got a center and tackle. Sometimes you can slide the tackle over. But uh, as far as I remember from them, They don't have necessarily the best tackles either. Their whole whole line sucks. Turner here would be a solid pick. Honestly, I want to continue to build up this defense, though. 92 grade, which is fantastic. We're in, I believe, the fifth round, right? They didn't have an R4 yet. The fifth round pick here. This dude, he had four sacks, 27 hurries. His best game against Army. His worst game against Syracuse, which is a little concerning. Uh, But his worst game wasn't against Clemson, so that is always a huge pick. So I'm going to go ahead and take Turner here. Again, just got to continue building that up, that defense. Um, I kind of want to try to take maybe an offensive lineman here. Uh, there's none, obviously, at the top of the draft board. So let's go ahead and look at uh, guards here. So three sacks is just so much. His worst game was against South Alabama. I don't love that. I don't know a ton about the offensive line, especially this late into the draft class. Oh, jeez, four sacks. I mean, in my opinion... I don't personally like this guy right here. This is what I would look for. One hurry or one hit, five hurries. He played most of the snaps. Even last season when he played every game, over a 1,000 snaps. He didn't give up a sack. I think I like that quite a bit. And Texas A&M being his worst game is concerning, but I'm not that concerned. Uh, we're talking about a six-round pick, I think, at this point. I think this is a solid fit at guard. This guy could possibly slide in and start this season or next season for you guys. I think that is a fantastic selection. They got one pick left. So I'm probably going to take either the best defensive player or if there is a solid guard near the top. Stephen Bennett is tempting for me. I'm actually kind of high on him. 
I mean, his stats were pretty good. He's a little bit old, so I understand why he wouldn't go early. But two-time national champion, he's a winner. But I'm not going to pick him, obviously, here. Because I don't I honestly, the Cardinals don't need a quarterback. Uh, but Connor here is a solid pick. That grade is actually kind of low. I don't love that grade there. Um, I wish they showed better stats for safeties. Their stats suck. Yeah, oh, I mean, we're talking about seventh, or no, are we still, we're still in the sixth round here. So they could always add more receiving help getting a tight end, but I think this tight end class is very literally top end heavy, one or two really good players. So I don't see them honestly taking a tight end here, maybe taking our cornerback in Cameron Brown. He did have three touchdowns, which is pretty impressive, but he hasn't played a ton through college. Now, granted, we're talking about a late-round draft pick, so he might not even be a full-time starter. Maybe go out and get a linebacker and uh, diabetes. <laughs> uh, but again, I mean, that's a pretty crappy grade. He struggled really bad there. This last pick, and honestly, I don't know if it's going to matter. I would honestly take this guy out of Jackson State. High rating. He didn't play real opponents, so he's going to be here. I feel like this could be a solid pick. I think that... I mean, I would take anybody from Jackson State in these late rounds. But that's the whole draft. So we're going to go ahead and finish this up and see what uh, PFF thinks about my draft and what they're going to give me uh, grade-wise because they, they grade your draft and your picks and whatnot. So I'm curious. I think the guard's probably going to get a low grade because he was a later round pick. So they didn't love the tackle pick, but, eh, you know, obviously Will Anderson, A-plus, makes sense. Luca, whatever. You know, they love all of them except for, like I said, the guard. I meant the guard. And they didn't love the linebacker pick. But I honestly like these two picks here. I feel like they're great fits. They're guys who I think are a little bit underrated. I got an A- minus for my Cardinal draft. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>